What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. It's official. Young Money has hit Edmonton as Connor McDavid became the richest player in the NHL with a eight-year, $100 million contract. That'll pay him an average annual value of $12.5 million. Um, that's, that's a lot of money for those of you keeping track at home. Um, obviously, I think Connor is worth every fucking cent of it. And here's the other thing. He could have signed eight years, one hundred and twenty million, which would have, you know, obviously, you you do the math on that in terms of the cap hit um, and what that would have meant for the the Oilers cap wise. Didn't do it. Took less. I mean, still signed a hundred million dollar contract, but took less money to help the team put pieces around him to win. Edmonton's next dynasty is coming, and I don't think I'm I'm going the hot take, you know, Max Kellerman that asshole type route. I, I'm think I'm pretty firmly. I can think I can comfortably say that Edmonton, right now, they're my favorite to win the West. You know, I, I, you just look at how elite this team is, and you know how talented McDavid is. Now they got him, you know, locked up. The contract's not gonna be an issue. You know, the, the cap hit doesn't kick in until the year after next season, so you know they have a little more flexibility this year. They got to get recital signed. They will. Um, there's going to be some issues with, between the Chris Russell contract and the Lucic contracts. Um, I think, and, you know, and even like Andre Sakura for, you know, some of that, I don't think is as good as he's getting paid. Um, you know, those, those could hurt them. But again, McDavid gave him a little bit of flexibility. You know, he could have gotten that $14 million contract. Took a little bit less. Now it's up to Peter Shirelli to not fuck it up. So we'll see what happens. Um, I think this year they're going to look at, and this is just spitballing here in terms of Edmonton center position, I think ideally they want Ryan Strom to fill in as that number two center and then make Nugent Hopkins and his cap hit, you know, not, not you know, hold him back. I think that's something that they're going to stick around with and take a look at. Um, you know, we'll see, and again, we'll see what McClellan and the company does and with, you know, the lineup, but... You know, he's the best player in the world right now. I mean, I, you know, Sidney Crosby's won the last two Stanley Cups. Sorry, tough to, tough to argue that. But, you know, this is Connor McDavid's league. You know, he is as elite a young player as there is in the game right now. As the game's ever seen, you know, for a teenager. Uh, now, you know, he's 20 now, but, you know, he, he got where I'm going. I mean, he's not old enough to buy a drink in the States. And he's, you know, had a 100-point season. You know, brought his team in the second round of the playoffs. And I think this year they're looking for more. And, you know, if this just, I don't think, sorts itself out, which I think it will. Spoiler alert, I think Edmonton's coming out of the West. And, you know, you just look at this kit contract, and for how many bad contracts there are in the league, it's like, this isn't, I have no issue paying a ton of money for the studs. You know, him, Sidney Crosby, even Taves and Kane in Chicago, um, they deserve every penny. That being said, it's when you overpay for mediocrity to get held back. It's when you overpay the Chris Russells and even, you know, dare I say, the Luigi's of the world that you're in a disadvantageous position. But, you know, again, I think the Oilers are in a really, really good spot right now. And, again, Edmonton's next dynasty could very well be upon us. Anyway, that's all I got episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for my episode just throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.